Meanwhile, more movements have been detected at North Korea's Sohae satellite launching site, where the North could launch its first spy satellite. And experts say the launch may be on the way in the near future. Our Lee sin has more. This is a satellite imagery of North Korea's Sohae satellite launching site taken this past Monday. According to analysis from Radio Free Asia, the image shows a new facility being built, which is believed to be the launch pad from where the North's first ever military reconnaissance satellite will be launched. Comparing satellite images of the same location from a week earlier shows that construction at the site is progressing rapidly, and North Korea may be quickly moving towards launching the satellite soon. And experts say it may be just a matter of North Korea looking for the best weather conditions to go ahead with the satellite launch. The Sohae satellite launching ground is located on the country's western coast in Dongchangni, North Pyongyang province near the Chinese border. The site is the North's only known permanent operational test ground for major weapon systems, which includes intercontinental ballistic missiles. Meanwhile, other satellite images show that North Korea is preparing for a massive military parade to mark the 70th anniversary of Armistice Day, which the regime often calls its Victory Day. Four troop formations were seen moving to the medium airfield in Pyongyang, a military training ground in the capital. Voice of America says that while between 200 and 1,200 troops were seen in the recent images, that number could increase further as it gets closer to the anniversary day on July 27th. With North Korea potentially showcasing its latest weapons during the military parade and a spy satellite launch looming, watchers say the tensions on the Korean Peninsula will continue to rise with little chance of dialogue between the two Koreas. Lee Seung-jae, Arirang News.